Good morning, my friends. Today, we're gonna do a very gentle morning session. We're gonna be lying down on the mat most of the time, no standing sequences until the end of the practice. We're gonna keep it a little bit shorter, uh, a little bit sweeter. This is the perfect practice if the first thing that you do is get out of bed and you just want to wake up your body in a very gentle way. It can be that you're sore, it can be that you're a little bit extra tired, maybe even if you're sick. Um, now I'm not saying if you have a fever <laughs> this is a good practice to do, but even sometimes when you have the flu it's good to move your body a little bit. So it's a very gentle practice. All right, let's start ourselves off with lying down on the mat. So find a comfortable position, lie down, stretch out those legs and start by grounding your body into the mat. So the first thing I want you to do is take a deep breath in and exhale with a sigh. Let's do that two more times. Inhale. And exhale. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. Now put your right hand on your tummy and left hand on your chest over your heart. And just Stay here with me for a little moment and start by setting an intention for the day. So it can be a core value, something that you want to stick with that is your truth, something that will guide you. It can be a goal can be a mindset. It can be an energy flow. Whatever works for you, set that intention for your day. So by setting an intention for our day, we're setting us up to mindfully live our day with our best intention in mind. slowly release the hands and pull your arms over your head and give yourself a little you're gonna bend those knees both of them and just ground your lower back into the mat you can have your hands on your hips or over your belly, whatever feels good for you. Just keep them there for a little while. Keep your eyes closed if you want to. For me, it's a natural thing because <laughs> I'm going to get the sun in my eyes, but uh, it's also a good way to wake up. From here, we're going to open up the arms to the side. We're going to lift the feet off the mat. We're going to bring those knees a little bit closer to our chest, but without pushing it. So very gentle. And now from here, I just want you to go to one side with both your knees. And let them fall down onto the ground. And don't grab onto your legs, just stay there very gentle side stretch and keep that breath neutral in through the nose and out through the nose and deep breath in lift 
those feet gently off of the floor and come back to center. And this time grab hold of your knees and gently press the knees into your chest, very gently. And now sway a little bit from side to side. Massaging the kidneys and the lower back. practices with me before, I think you remember that I mentioned that this movement is like a detox for the kidneys. So it's perfect if you grab a huge glass of water after the practice and then go to the bathroom. <laughs> and let's stay here and center, open those arms again. And let's go over to the other side. Now, you don't have to do anything with your head, just keep it where it is. It's a gentle, gentle side stretch. And keep it there. A long neutral breath. Deep breath, inhale, and lift those feet from the ground or floor in your case if you're doing this from the comfort of your home. home. Grab hold of those knees. And now let's do some small circles with the knees. So you're gently letting the knees come towards your chest. And then naturally in the circle, let them go out in a rotation, in a little circle mode here. It doesn't have to be big, it can be very, very small, whatever feels good for you. So this is definitely something that you can still do in bed. You don't need a yoga mat for this. Let's do one last round of circle. And stay here. And from here, you're gonna let one foot fall down to the floor and hold on to your knee and press it a little bit more into your chest. Long neutral spine, long extended neck. So you don't force your chin into your chest. Just keep it long and neutral. And hold it there. And gentle breaths. And release the legs slowly. And we're gonna go for a switch. Foot down, grab hold of your knee. Gently press it into your chest. Keep the shoulder blades down into the mat. And gentle breaths. release slowly let the other foot come down next to your foot on the floor and from here just feel the extension that goes from your hip bones all the way out through your spine lower back upper back neck and let the extension keep going from the top of your head Lift the heels off the mat. Let those knees come up, grab hold of your knees. And let's do that circle to the other side this time. And it's up to you if you want to do them a little bit bigger, a little bit faster. Go for it. <laughs> it's your body, this is your way of just waking up. 
up, releasing some tension, releasing some stiffness, setting yourself up for a good day. Gently release to the side. And if you want the leg that is over, extend it a little bit, gently, 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 and grab hold of your foot. So for some, this can be a very intense glute and hamstring stretch. If this feels like, oh, this is a little bit too much in the morning, keep those knees bent. And keep that breath neutral. Stay present in the moment, connect with that body of yours. Take a deep breath, bend the knee. And slowly bring those legs back up. And from here, grab hold of one knee and now you're gonna extend the leg all the way down to the mat and keep pressing the other knee into your chest. And now let's give our feet a little flexion. So those toes are gonna come up, activating our legs a little bit more. And we're going to go to point. And again, flex. Toes up. And point. Toes up. And point. One last round. Toes up. And from here, gently release both legs, bend those knees, feet down onto the mat. Feel that long, long extended spine. Open the arms, lift the feet off the ground. And let's go over to the other side for that gentle side twist. And again, if you want to extend your leg, go for it, go for that little stretching glutes and hammies, but be gentle. Long, deep breaths. From here, let go, bend the leg and bring those feet back up. Let's go and grab that other leg, extend, press the knee gently into the stretch, hold it there. And from here, we're going to flex. from here, we're going to release 
Bring both feet back into the mat. Hold it here gently. Again, feel that extension in your lower back. Press the hands down into the mat, and we're gonna lift our tushy from the mat very gently, opening up those hips. And we're gonna hold it here for three, two, one, and gentle release. Inhale. Exhale, and again on the inhale, lift the sit bones up from the mat, opening up those hips. Maybe you can make it a little bit bigger this time, also activating the glutes under you. And hold it for three, two, one and gently release. Inhale and exhale. One more, my friends. And lift the sit bones from the mat. And this time, if you want, you can scoop in your shoulders a little bit under your shoulder blades. I know it sounds weird, but you know what I mean. And from here, you can interlace your fingers and give yourself a little bit more ground to stay grounded. Open up those hips, engage those glutes. Keep your knees neutral so they don't fall in or out. And let's hold it here for three, two, one, and gently release. Now lift the knees back into your chest. And from here, open those feet a little bit, flex the feet, and we're gonna go into happy baby pose. Ah, yes. So it's up to you if you wanna keep your hands on the outside. You can also keep them on the inside, whatever feels best for you. Now for me, for example, I feel that I have a stiffness and soreness in my left hip. So I'm going to keep my hands on the inside. But whatever you do, don't grab onto your toes and start, you know, pulling. Just keep your hands and let those knees just naturally fall out. Hold it there. Deep breaths. See if you can feel your legs getting a little bit more heavy, melting into the hips a little bit more. And now gently release, press the knees in together. Put the feet back into the mat, but this time try to keep them a little bit closer to your sit bones. Keep the feet together and we're gonna open into a butterfly pose. So open out. And this is up to you if you wanna keep your hands here on your hips, on your tummy, on your chest. I usually like to just lift them up. Back up above your head. Maybe open them a little bit to the side. Feel how the shoulder blades are moving. And gently just release the feet. Now wiggle your body a little bit from side to side. 
and you're gonna gently once again bring the feet up and this time we're gonna just roll over to one side press the hand into the floor and bring yourself gently up to a seated position and find a seated pose that works for you from here we're gonna open up that chest lift those arms above our head hold it there deep breaths press those palms in and again open let's do it again and now when you open open with the intention of embracing this day making the best out of it open the arms showing that you're open you're ready for the day come at me let's do this <laughs> and gently release i hope this felt good for you this was really what i needed to do today have an amazing day my friends <laughs>